Today we will be discussing our next topic that is the heating effect of current. During our last classes, uh, we discussed that how the current flow through any metals. Uh, I told you that certain electrons are there, they are called as the carrier electrons. They move in a zigzag way through the uh, wire or through any conductor when electric potential is applied. Now when these electrons, they move in a zigzag way, they collide with each other as well as the metallic kernels. These collisions, they are not 100% elastic collisions. So, some of the kinetic energy is converted in the form of heat and that lead to rise in the temperature of that particular conductor. आप लोगों ने ऑब्जर्व किया होगा किसी भी इलेक्ट्रिक गैजेट को ज्यादा देर तक ऑन छोड़ देते हैं हम या यूज करते हैं तो थोड़ा सा वार्म अप हो जाता है थोड़ा गर्म हो जाता है उसके पीछे यही मेन रीजन होता है अब बात करते हैं हम इसकी कि इसका डेरिवेशन क्या होगी आप सभी ने पढ़ रखा है कि जो इलेक्ट्रिक पोटेंशियल होता है दैट इज कॉल्ड टू वर्क डन अपॉन द चार्ज दैट इज ट्रांसफर्ड वर्क डन अपॉन चार्ज ट्रांसफर्ड और यू कैन राइट इट एज वी is equal to W upon Q. Another thing, आप इसको ये form change करके यूँ भी लिख सकते हैं W is equal to V into Q. But from the definition of current, you know that I is equal to Q upon T. Means current is equal to charge transferred upon time taken. Or you can say that Q is equal to I into T by substituting the value of Q in equation one. What we get is W is equal to V into I into T. As you know that work done is equal to the amount of energy transferred. और ये energy किस form में है यहाँ पर? Heat की form में. Is this clear to all of you? So we can simply write it as work done is equal to the amount of heat that is produced. So, the general formula for the heat produced, it will be H is equal to V into I into T. By substituting the value of V and I from the Ohm's law, we, you know that V is equal to I R or you can say by substituting the value of V in this particular equation with I R, what you get is H is equal to I R into I T that is equal to I square into R into T. By again substituting using the Ohm's law, you know that H is equal to V into I T T I into T but I is equal to V upon R. So if we can rewrite it as H is equal to V square T upon R. So these are the various formulas by which you can calculate the amount of heat produced when some current is passed through any conductor. The main thing that you should notice is that heat produced is directly proportional to the square of current that is passed, heat produced is directly proportional to the resistance and heat produced is directly proportional to the time. Means the main factor is if you increase the resistance then more amount of heat will be produced or if you increase the current passing through that particular conductor then it will be increased by the square of that particular variable. The next concept is of electric power. In your class 9th you have studied that power is the rate of supply of energy or the rate of doing work. Means in simple words power is equal to work done upon time taken that is W upon T. But you know from the formula of heat that work is equal to amount of heat generated that is equal to V into I into T. So if you substitute W here by V I T what we get is V into I into T upon T. T is cancelled by T. So, in other words, power is equal to V into I. Again, by using the Ohm's law and substituting the value of V or I, it can be rewritten as it can be rewritten as power is equal to I square into R or it can be written as power is equal to V square upon R. These are the three formulas by which you can calculate power. Now, the other important concept is the units of energy. You know that the main unit of energy is Joule or you can say the SI unit of energy is Joule but it is a very smaller unit. It cannot be used uh, for measuring the commercial supply of energy. For that particular purpose, we use the Board of Trade unit or it is also called as the commercial unit of energy.
इट इज के डब्ल्यू एच मीन्स किलो वॉट आर जो एक किलो वॉट आर होता है बेटा दैट इज इक्वल टू थ्री पॉइंट सिक्स इंटू टेन इज टू दावर सिक्स जूल्स अब बात आती है कि ये यूनिट बनी कैसे है आप सभी को पता है कि पावर इज इक्वल टू एनर्जी सप्लाइड अपॉन टाइम टेकन अगर आप इसको रिवर्स कर दें तो आप क्या लिख सकते हो एनर्जी इज इक्वल टू पावर इन टू टाइम ओके यू नो दैट एनर्जी इज इक्वल टू पावर इन टू टाइम वेन यू यूज ए वन किलो वॉट डिवाइस फॉर वन आवर देन वी से दैट द एनर्जी कंज्यूम बाई इट इज वन किलो वॉट आर नाउ यू नो दैट वन किलो वॉट है थाउजेंड वॉट्स एंड वन आर है थर्टी सिक्स हंड्रेड सेकेंड्स नाउ इट कम्स आउट टू बी थ्री पॉइंट सिक्स इंटू टेन रेस्ट टू दावर सिक्स जूल्स